Hey everyone, it's Lana from Sage and Sound and I'm uh, doing a book review today on Explaining Humans by Dr. Camilla Pang. Um, this is a book that was released just this year and Camilla is a scientific researcher who also has uh, several mental health diagnoses. Um, she is on the autism spectrum and has ADHD, so attention deficit hyperactive disorder as well. Um, and she wrote this book, it's a very interesting premise, I think, <laughs> um, as a sort of manual to understanding human behavior for people who do have autism or sit on that spectrum. Um, because uh, one of the features of that uh, being on the spectrum is that people often struggle to connect with other people. They, you know, they take um, cliches and phrases very literally um, and can have real struggle sort of empathising with other people. So she wrote this book as a kind of manual for them. Um, and I read the book because I was fascinated by the concept. Um, and I took a few different things away from this book. Um, one is that I thought it was a really good insight into what it looks like to be neurodiverse. So to come at the world from a very different perspective from um, people who are more neurotypical. And it's not really her intention to do that, but the way that the book is written from her perspective, <laughs> showing people this manual of life for people who don't have her perspective, um, you do get some really good naturalistic insights into what it might be like to see the world through her eyes. And that applies not just to the autism spectrum, uh, but also to the attention deficit disorder as well. So I loved seeing that in the book. Um, the other thing I loved about the book is that she is a scientific researcher. She's obviously very intelligent and she has made these connections between how humans are and how um, different systems in the world, so in the body or in nature, work. Um, so uh, I think for myself, the connections between those systems and how a human works, that was kind of lost on me. <laughs> um, I am a neurotypical person and I didn't really think it helped me understand humans better. But what I loved about it was when she referenced science, it made me realize how amazing the world is, like how amazing our body is in terms of what cells are and how they work together. Um, you know, like that the world is a big place, like the vastness of space or the complicated ways that evolution works. Um, all those sorts of ideas are in the book and they really gave me pause to reflect and, you know, step outside myself and my everyday problems, uh, which often happens for me when I hear these amazing facts about the world and like how complicated and perfect a system the human body is. Um, so I really love the book for that reason as well. Um, I do recommend reading it. I thought it was really, really interesting. Um, and it would be interesting to see if different people really do connect with her model and that way of viewing the world, whether they're neurotypical or whether they are on the autism spectrum and it's something that's really helpful to them. Um, as I said, I enjoyed this book and I understood this book as well, despite the fact that she is a very intelligent person. Um, I think the way it's been written is quite accessible. Um, I could understand all the ideas that she had. Um, and I loved getting those different perspectives, like just being reminded of how amazing the world is and being able to get that window into somebody else's psyche and what it's like to um, see the world through autism spectrum or through the lens of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So I do recommend this book. Check it out. Um, thank you for watching. That's the end of my review today. See you.